All right, so you know what to eat before your period and during your period to feel better, but let's talk about a few of the things that you want to avoid because there's a couple of things that can really be uh, significantly impactful on your period and eliminating them can make a huge difference. And the first one is any animal products that are not grass-fed or hormone-free. And this is really important, especially because when you think about it, hormones are generally stored in fat. So you think about a big old cow and it's being inoculated with um, hormones every single day to make it get nice and big and fat so they can sell it for a lot of money. Well, those hormones get stored in the fat of that animal. And then if you're taking the milk and skimming the cream off and using that to make butter or cheese, those products will have a huge, huge percentage of hormones compared to the meat or other products from that. So you wanna look at um, not only the meat, but also butter and cheese are really big sources of hormones that you don't want that are quite disruptive to your hormonal system. Um, the other thing is alcohol. Now, there's nothing more than a lot of people want to do is have a glass of wine or a margarita, especially in the two weeks before your period. You're moody, you don't feel good, you're bloated, you don't feel cute, and you're like, I just wanna get home after work and sit on the couch with my girlfriends and have a huge glass of wine, but wine is not your friend. Unfortunately, previous studies showed that one glass of wine a day was actually really healthy for women, um, especially for heart health, and that has, you know, in the last year or so been um, sort of debunked, and now no alcohol is beneficial for women. Now, that doesn't mean you should never drink alcohol, but you should know that you're not drinking it like, oh, I'm gonna have a glass of wine because it's good for me. And alcohol is dehydrating, and so in the two weeks before your period, if you are not well hydrated, that can significantly impact your liver's ability to metabolize your hormones and get rid of them effectively, which can make your PMS symptoms a lot worse. So the two things to really try to avoid are any kind of animal product that's not organic or grass-fed, and make sure that you're really limiting your alcohol intake. So that's all for today. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, you want to chat, jump into the chat bot. You can get me or Rob, and we'll chat you up.